Jack Armstrong. Jack Armstrong. Jack Armstrong. Jack Armstrong, the all-American boy. Wave the Piper Hudson High, boys. Show them how we stand. Ever shall our team be champions, known throughout the land. Wheaties, breakfast of champions, bring you the thrilling adventures of Jack Armstrong, the all-American boy. Say, do you believe in magic? Do you suppose that some mysterious old medicine man living in the Philippine jungles could actually carve a finger ring and give it the amazing power to glow in the darkness like the eye of a wild animal? You know, Jack Armstrong is asking himself that very question right now. It's a dead cinch that the luminous dragon's eye ring that Yates the traitor stole from Jack is endowed with some kind of strange power. Just look at the facts. This ring is made of a curious white material, resembling old ivory. It's decorated with the images of two crocodiles, monsters of the jungle rivers. And the huge gaping jaws of these crocodiles hold a brilliant green eye of genuine tenite. But here's the strangest thing of all. The dragon's eye ring glows in the darkness, shines with a ghostly, unearthly light as if it were full of green fire. How would you like to own a ring like that? Just imagine, a beautiful white ring of unusual oriental design, one that you'd be mighty proud to wear and show your friends. And think what a surprise everybody will get when you take the ring out of the sunlight into a closet or some other dark place. It seems to light up all by itself with that uncanny green glow, almost like the eye of a tiger shining in the jungle night. Why, it gleams so brightly you can throw it up in the air and catch it in pitch darkness. Now, here's the big secret we've been saving for all good friends of Jack Armstrong. We've discovered the mysterious power that makes this ring glow in the dark. And we're making it possible for you to own a luminous dragon's eye ring, almost exactly like the one Jack carries on his radio adventures. But I'll tell you one thing right now. We have only a limited supply of these wonderful rings on hand. So that means you've got to get in your order right away if you want to be among the first in your crowd to own one. Now, here's how to order. Get yourself a package of Wheaties, those champion flakes of real whole wheat, and cut the top off the Wheaties package. Send your Wheaties box top with one dime, ten cents in cash, and your name and address to Jack Armstrong, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Got that? A Wheaties box top, one dime, and your name and address sent to Jack Armstrong, Minneapolis, Minnesota will bring your luminous dragon's eye ring to you in a hurry. Now, I'm advising you, get that package of Wheaties and order now, today. And now, Jack Armstrong, the all-American boy. Jack and Billy are floundering through a crocodile-infested swamp in the jungles of Mindanao, looking for the traitor Yates, who has stolen the luminous dragon's eye ring, which Uncle Jim needs to take him safely to valuable uranium deposits. They've trailed Yates to this jungle swamp, and while Uncle Jim and Melio are searching another direction... Betty is waiting back at the river under the protection of Malua's moros. The swamp, shaded by large jungle trees, is teeming with wildlife. And Jack and Billy keep one eye peeled for Yates and another for the submerged crocodiles which crawl lazily and dangerously in the dark waters around them. Listen. Say, Jack, this high ground is a joke. Why, it's just about level with the swamp water. Well, that's what makes it high ground, Billy. All around us, the water's knee-deep. Deeper than that if you go further out. Gosh, the water couldn't be much wetter than this ground is. Look, every step we take makes a puddle. Well, that'll make it easy to pick up Yates' trail, Billy. Well, if he came this way, we ought to see his trail by now, Jack. Not if he waded through the water. Well, we'll pick it up soon if he did come this way. He'll either have to come back on this high ground or stay close to it, or else swim out with the crocodiles. <laughs> if it weren't for the crocodiles, I'd get into deep water myself and swim. Get rid of these mosquitoes. Yep, and crickets, yeah. Gosh, I think they're tri-motored mosquitoes. Wish we had thought to bring our head nets. That's a good thing Uncle Jim's been dosing us up with quinine. Say, hey, look, Billy. Uncle Jim and Malua have disappeared already. Gosh, it didn't take long. And I guess that's because of all these trees in the swamps. Well, he told us if we saw Yates to call him before we started any rough stuff. Well, if we don't pick up Yates' trail soon, we'll be too far away for them to ever hear us. Well, we can handle Yates ourselves if we have to, Billy. Even if he puts up a tough scrap. He'll put up a scrap, all right. He's not going to give back that dragon's eye ring without a fight. Well, better you won't. He knows that the Moros think the ring has magic from Allah. 
Well, it sure has magic from somewhere, Jack. Gee, the way it shines in the dark is really something. Billy, look there, just a few feet ahead of us. What, Jack? <gasps> it's footprints. It's Yates' trail, Billy. See? It's where he came up from the swamp. It must be Yates, all right. You bet it's Yates. Whoever made those tracks was wearing shoes, and the Moros never wear shoes. The tracks lead straight ahead, Jack. My gosh, I'll bet you he's almost close enough to hear us. I don't think he's that close, Billy. He had quite a head start on us. <gasps> then maybe he's way ahead. Gosh, maybe we'll never catch up with him. Well, it's not as bad as that, Billy. Malua said that this so-called high ground didn't go very far into the swamp. And there's nowhere else that Yates could go when he comes to the end of it, except into the swamp itself. Then we've got him trapped, Jack. Come on. Gosh, what are we waiting for? I think we'd better call Uncle Jim and Malua. We promised we would. But Yates might get away. He can't get away, Billy. As you just said, he's trapped. I'm going to call to them. Uncle Jim! Uncle Jim! You didn't hear him answer, did you, Jack? Well, these birds make so much noise, it's hard to hear anything. We'll both try, Billy. Uncle, Uncle Jim! Jim! Uncle Jim! Jim! What's that, Jack? That's just a parrot, Billy. Oh, gosh. I guess the parrot was trying to answer us. Huh? That's the only answer we'll get, Billy. I'm afraid we're too far away for Uncle Jim to hear us. Maybe we'd better go back and get him. If we did, then Yates could escape. He could follow us and get back toward the river while we were looking for Uncle Jim and Malior. We've got to follow these footsteps, Billy. We can't risk his getting away with that dragon's eye ring. No, I'll say we can't. And if you and I can't handle them, I'll eat my hat. Come on. Wait a second, Billy. If we're going to have any trouble with Yates, we'd better be prepared. Let's cut ourselves a couple of good husky sticks. Oh, that's a swell idea, Jack. Here. Here's a sapling of some sort here. Wait a minute. Get my knife out and we'll cut one piece. I'll cut this limb off, Billy. You take that limb. Okay, Jack. Boy, these are going to make swell sticks. They must be two inches thick. Yeah. They're thick enough to give Yates plenty of trouble. How long shall we make them, Jack? I'm cutting mine about six feet long. Better make yours shorter, Billy. You ought to have one long stick and one short club. Oh, I'll make mine about four feet, Jack. All right. Gosh, it's good and solid, too. Listen to him. He hates to think twice before he closes in on us now. Let's get going, Billy. We can't be far away. Oh, look out now, Mr. Yates. Here we come. He probably knows it, Billy. We've made enough noise to warn the whole swamp. Jack. What's that ahead, right across our path? Oh, gosh, it's a crocodile. It isn't anything else, Billy. Jumpin' Jiminy, gee whiz, I'm not gonna step over him. Me either. We find ourselves minus a leg. He looks asleep, Jack. But he's not. Watch him roll those small eyes at us. What are we gonna do, Jack? I'll throw my stick at him. Maybe that'll make him go back into the swamp. But suppose he doesn't go back in the swamp, Jack. Suppose he comes after us. We can climb this tree if he does, Billy. But we've got to get him out of the way. Here it goes. Look out, Jack. He's coming this way. No, he isn't, Billy. There, he's oh. going into the water. Oh, gosh, all hemlock, Jack. If that four-legged suitcase had come this way, I'd have broken all records for tree climbing. <laughs> all records except mine, Billy. Let's get going. Here, I've got my stick again. Okay, Jack. I hope that crocodile knows we've got the right of way. How that Yates is plenty frightened, Billy. He doesn't dare go into the swamp, and he knows he's being followed. Serves him right for stealing that dragon's eye ring from us. Say, hey, Billy, if Malua was right, we must be getting pretty close to the end of this high ground. Gee, and that means that we're getting pretty close to Yates, too, Jack. We are getting close to him, Billy. Look ahead. Jumping chimney, there's Yates. He's gone as far as he can, Billy. Look at him. He knows he's trapped, and he's waiting for us. Say, he's cut himself a stick, too. We'll have to be careful when we close in, Billy. One wrap of that stick across our heads won't feel any too good. Come on. Say, Billy, he must have had a fight with a crocodile. Look at that ground between him and us. It's all mussed up or something. Too bad the crocodile didn't chew him up. Then we'd have had to chase the crocodile to get the ring back. If it had been a crocodile, the eights wouldn't be standing there waiting for us. But something happened on that ground. He's watching us come, Jack. There's something up. Gosh, I don't like that look on his face. He's about to call to us, Billy. Wait a minute. Well, what are you waiting for? You know what we're after, Mr. Yates. We want that dragon's eye ring that you stole from us. Are you going to give it to us, or shall we come and get it? Uh, if you want it that badly, young fella, you better come and get it. All right, Mr. Yates. That's just what we're going to do. Come on, Billy. Be careful now, Jack. He's got something up his sleeve. You be careful, too, Billy. Watch that ground ahead. There's something funny about it. 
Come on. Okay. Oh, look at him, Jack. He's taking the ring out of his pocket. He's flaunting it before our very eyes. He won't do that for long. Let's rush him, Jack. Come on. Billy, oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh Jack. Jack, I, I'm sinking into the ground. You're in Jack, quicksand, Billy. That's Jack. where it is. Stop fighting it. Stay perfectly still. Jack, I'm sinking. Don't fight it, Billy. You'll sink faster if you do. Here, I'll throw my long stick across the quicksand. Attaboy. Now put your weight on it. There, I See? got it. It'll hold you. It's resting on firm ground. Now work yourself over to the edge. Look out, Jack. Yates, he's coming to get you. Give me your short stick, Billy, quick. I'll right. hold off Yates while you work yourself to high ground. Here it is, Jack. I'll help you as soon as I get it. Yates knew this quicksand was here. He wanted us both to sink into it. Watch him, Jack. Stay away from Billy, Yates. I'll teach you to Watch him, Jack. Watch bullet. that stick he's got. You get out of there, Billy. I'll hold him off as long as I can. And a boy, Jack. I'll be with you in a second. Yeah, you'll <laughs> both be in that hole in a second. Not by a jugful we won't. Oh, beauty, Jack. Oh, honey, there's that crown in him. Oh, Jack, did he get you? Yeah, but I got him one too, Billy. Hurry up. I'm almost out. Yeah. I'm out. Now we'll show him something. He jumped into the water, Billy. I'm going in after him. I, I'm with you, Jack. Don't let's let him get away. He's going way out, Billy. I don't see him, Jack. Where is he? He's behind that big tree. He's still going. Oh, I see him, Jack. Golly sakes, he's getting away from us. He can't get away from us, Billy. We mustn't let him. I had to wait to water this deep. Billy, what's that over there? Coming this way. Jump a chimney. Jack, that's another crocodile. Quick, Billy, up the street. We'll pull ourselves okay. up by the vines. Hurry. hurry. There, I'm up, Jack. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm up too, Billy. There. That crocodile oh. was too close to suit me. Gosh. A second more and he'd have had a leg. Look, Jack. He started over to Yates. The crocodile is after Yates. We've got to warn it. Yates, look out. There's a crocodile after you. Oh, he sees it. He's going up a tree, too. He better hurry. <gasps> Gosh, he's not going to make it. Yes, he is, by the skin of his teeth. He's safe. We ought to let the crocodile get him. To the way he tried to trap us in that quicksand. That's the difference between Yates and us, Billy. Well, here we are. You and I safe in one tree. Yates and the dragon's eye ring in another tree. The very hungry crocodile between us. <laughs> what do we do now? Well, Jack and Billy are safe in a tree. And they're not very far from Yates in that dragon's eye ring. And what are Uncle Jim and Mally were doing now? Are they on their way to Jack and Billy? Or have they gone back to the river where Betty is waiting to see if the hostile Moros are coming down the river? There's still a lot of excitement ahead, so be on hand, all of you, at this same time next Monday for another thrilling episode of the luminous dragon's eye ring with Jack Armstrong... The All-American Boy. Now, don't wait another single day to put your order in the mail and get yourself a luminous dragon's eye ring. Remember, lots of other fellows and girls are listening to me right now. They're probably going to want these rings, too. And we have only a limited supply on hand. Send one Wheaties box top and a dime, ten cents in cash, with your name and address to Jack Armstrong... Minneapolis, Minnesota, and we'll see to it that you get your ring in a hurry. You can't buy the Luminous Dragon's Eye Ring in stores. It's not for sale in any store in the United States. You've got to get it direct from Jack Armstrong. So get your Wheaties and order now, this very weekend. Have you tried Wheaties? They're whole wheat with all of the brand. Won't you try Wheaties? This is Franklin McCormick saying goodbye till Monday for General Mills, makers of Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions, who have just presented another episode of Jack Armstrong, the All-American Boy. The best breakfast food in the land. Wave the flag for Hudson High, boys. Show them how we stand. Ever shall our team be champions.